some point, folks have to have to sit down and say, okay, how do we figure out how to make it work? You know, and so how do we best advance advance our state? And so the, the test I do is I, is I try and look at the issue before me, and I try and say, okay, what, what is the intended goal? How are we trying to help? Well, is this going to make people's lives better, or is it going to make it worse? And from, from, from where I come from. And so that's my simple test. Is this going to improve the lives of the people I represent, or is it going to make it worse? And, and so we, we go from a from that standpoint. So, like, if you take a tax issue, you know, I mean, you know, so you say, well, okay, we could raise the taxes, you know, this much. But we know we'll only get this much back, and I know it'll cost this many jobs. And so I think, oh, on the net, it's not something I can support, because although it may help somebody who really needs those resources from the state, on the whole, I think it, it's, it's going to have a negative, in, uh, negative impact. And so the challenge that I try and assess, and it's not always easy, I mean, it's not always easy, is on the whole, will this have a greater positive or a greater negative impact? Um, and, and then you assess it there. Uh, you know, generally speaking, I, I feel like California has some of the highest tax rates in the nation. Um, I mean, we have the highest income tax, we have one of the highest sales taxes, we have the third highest corporate tax. I mean, you know, a number of times, and, and the burden to our small business pe people is immense. And so, I mean, I, I would like to see us kind of unleash the, the power of California. I mean, we have, despite that, we still have something that no other state, no other country has. We have a geographic location that helps us immensely. Our ties to India and China, the Asian Pacific, around Latin America, South America. In an increasing global economy, one of my favorite stats, in 1974, the U.S. did $84 billion of trade with the world. For all of 1974, for the whole year. The second week of January, a year ago, the U.S. did $84 billion of trade with the world. That's how much we've changed. Well, California's in a great position to take advantage of that. We also have, uh, Mark Twain had a great line. He said, the easy and slothful didn't come to California, they stayed home. <laughs> we have a very industrious spirit in California. You see it right here with our biotech, our life science industries, our high tech. You go up the road just a little bit to Los Angeles, you see it in entertainment, in media, and in information. You go up to the Central Valley, if we can get water turned back on, they feed the world. I mean, the Central Valley feeds the world. And then agriculture technology, cutting edge. Silicon Valley, I mean, the birthplace of the semiconductor, of high tech, of these types of things. And California, I feel like, has the chance and the opportunity to continue to lead the world in energy policy. How do we find the next sustainable way to power our lives? In transportation technology, how do we move people from point A to point B? In medical devices, biotechnology, life science, how do we cure these diseases that are out there? We spend a penny for a cure for every dollar we spend to treat all cancer. We need those innovations. We need those centers there. And so the one area where I would come down on is, is, is that I think is just really important is how do we protect and grow that in California, that spirit of innovation? Because if you don't innovate, if you don't inspire, if you don't entrepreneur, you're not going to be successful in the global economy. And so that, I think, would be one of those things that I wouldn't compromise on. I mean, I think protecting those jobs and a lot of those jobs, too. I mean, everyone thinks it's a bunch of PhDs that are, that are sitting in these facilities making a, a lot of money. When you go out to these facilities, whether they're energy tech, high tech, clean tech, biotech, these are a lot of blue collar jobs. They're manufacturing they're vocational education. You graduate high school, you can do some algebra, you get a skill. You know, you get a job, and I want more of those. And so I think that would probably be, in my opinion, the most important issue facing California is, is, is the economic development piece. And the second piece would be the overall government. Which I can talk about later, but I mean, we, we have to change the way 